Well, I think from a positioning point of view, um, obviously, uh, I think there's a big gap between the raw fat systems and uh, uh, the low entry uh, inkjet devices. So obviously the market is there for the toner machines, but also from my experience working with the continuous feed systems in uh, EMEA area, you don't see so many opportunities or customers that have that amount of volume. So the, the, the entry point from continuous feed is quite high. Uh, so even with the current cut sheet competitors that we do have, also their point of entry in regards to monthly volume is quite high. So I think where we are based, uh, you know, our entry point starts somewhere around 100,000 A4s a month. And I think we would find much more opportunities. But also what is particularly interesting is that for customers who are interested to move into Injet, they don't need to step up to such a high entry level. They can start and have all the benefits from Injet technology, but then at a much lower uh, monthly volume and start building it from there. Well, for, for uh, a point, because I, I don't think with the current platform we are really aiming for the toner market as such, but I think that uh, there were a lot of customers that moved to toner because there was no alternative in inkjet. So I think uh, what we see also in our current installations that many times we are replacing toner machines that are not really printing particular toner applications. So uh, customers that have uh, a machine as a backup uh, or small uh, uh, job volume runs compared to a, a continuous feed device are not specifically looking for that toner uh, color vibrancy or that media flexibility. But at that point, there was no real alternative to have a cut sheet machine as a backup system. So, and now they're in. Yeah, correct. Of course, in terms of technology, it's 100% different. The whole platform as it is, I think everybody knows the benefits of, of Inkjet, you know, the reliability of the systems, the few moving parts that are inside the machine. Uh, it's, it's basically a, a, a quite simple core technology. You know, the substrate moves under the heads, the head spray ink and it moves out. So the, the uptime of the machine is, is quite high and also the maintenance, of course, and that's the main advantage, is quite low. So uh, color consistency, all these kind of advantages that Inkjet offers, uh, that is what we offer in a, in a small footprint platform. Yes, we have solved that. Uh, well, for us, it was never an issue from the beginning, but uh, obviously because the technology was there, and as you mentioned, uh, we have been uh, building the experience through OEM also quite a lot. Uh, but this is actually, obviously, the ink head technology is from Kyocera, but also the inks are developed by Kyocera. So we moved from the launch, uh, uh, we would, uh, went with uh, version 1 ink, we are now at version 2 ink, where we have uh, improved the color vibrancy and the drying uh, behavior. So, uh, yeah, so far uh, we are getting really, really nice results from this machine. Uh, the reception has been, uh, and of course I'm preaching for Kyocera, so uh, uh, forgive me if it, it sounds a bit colored, uh, but <laughs> but the customers are really more positive than I was hoping for. So uh, we knew that they were probably a bit hesitant uh, because Kyocera is a new brand and uh, it's uh, uh, of course you're entering the core processes of your customer so they would be quite careful to step into a new technology and even a new brand name that still has to prove uh, in this market that they can service and uh, support everything direct uh, but they have been uh, really enthusiastic and uh, gives a lot of uh, good feedback about what else are they trying what uh, what additional uh, volume they've been able to shift to our platform which we initially didn't calculate for so also on the average uh, monthly volumes, it's higher than we expected. So uh, yeah, because the customers uh, come in with a certain expectation and they consider also maybe 200,000, 300,000 we can reallocate to the inkjet. But once the machine is in and they start to learn about the machine and how they can uh, tweak the applications, we see they are shifting more and more volumes from even from offset towards our inkjet platform. At the moment, we are mostly uh, selling it to print service providers who are replacing, in the majority of the occasions, replacing their existing toner-based machines. So either it can be a combination between a color machine and a mono machine that they shift everything into one inkjet platform. Uh, but we also have customers where we are putting it in complementary to their uh, continuous feed systems, for instance. The 
the feedback has been really, really positive. I said one of the reasons why customers are able to shift more volumes onto the platform is because uh, many of the customers are asking us for an ink out contract, which is something we can offer. Uh, we have good analysis tools uh, on both on the Fiery, but also inside of the machine that can give you a clear cost estimation and ink usage estimation up front. Uh, and the majority of our customers are printing the applications that we are aiming for. So the transactional, transpromotional applications that on, on average coverage are lower than you would normally uh, print on a uh, toner-based device. So by giving them the, uh, uh, the liberty to uh, purchase the ink separately, they are more in control of their own costs. So making it also for them to be more competitive in their own markets.